All right, I'm gonna take you through a leg workout this morning. Don't think I've actually done that on the channel yet, so I'll just run you through it. I'm currently still testing out my fitness app. I'm still in the process of building it. Um, I am just using a platform as well, by the way, so I'm not actually building this from scratch, but it is a platform that a lot of YouTubers have been using, like Nick Bear or Rob Lipset, uh, to name a few. Um, but yeah, just today, going to start off with seated hamstring curls, then move on to Romanian deadlifts, leg extensions, barbell back squats, Bulgarian split squats, standing calf raises and hanging leg raises. The reason why I am doing, you know, an isolated hamstring curl movement first is because I really want to bring out my hamstrings. They are a bit of a weak point for me, um, especially my posterior chain. It's um, it's still looking a bit 2D right now. So if I can grow the hamstring and give it a bit more shape, that will really look good in my physique. So doing hamstring curls and then the Romanian deadlifts is gonna be the big heavy movement. For beginners though, I would still recommend to do you know your barbell back squats, your deadlifts at the beginning of the workout when you have the most energy. But in my case, if you're a bit more of an experienced lifter, you've been going to the gym for you know like five, 10 years, then you probably know where your weak points are in your physique and being able to nail those down and make those points grow will really make your physique look really good. So I've been living in this apartment for about three months now, um, but it still doesn't really feel that homely just because I haven't really decorated it with much. I also don't know how long I want to stay in this apartment for, so I don't really want to be buying a lot of furniture, which will make moving out a lot more difficult. But as you can see, like there's this massive, great white wall behind me, which just looks a little bit boring. Um, and I really want to do something with it. I don't know if I can drill any holes in the wall, so I don't know if I can hang anything, hang shelves or art. So really, I can maybe like put a chair here. Ooh. Maybe I can put a chair here, or maybe like a plant. And then I've seen like a lot of people just put a big painting or a piece of art on the floor, which looks pretty okay since I can't really hang it on the wall. Um, but then I also don't want to buy a big piece of art which costs quite a lot of money because then that's just going to be really difficult to move out. So I feel like maybe like an easier option is if I can create something myself. And I've seen quite a lot of these like DIY art works where you get a big canvas and then you get this like mixed filler, I think it's what it's called. And you can make like pretty cool like textures on it. So I used to do quite a lot of art when I was growing up and I actually have quite a lot of these canvases left over. This is a, this is a 24 by 18 inch canvas and I think it's a bit small to be honest. But I think if I have it there, yeah, that's just way too small. I'm gonna have to, I don't know if I can maybe make two and maybe double it up. Let me see. Yeah, I'm not sure. 
like would two be okay? I'd say something like that is probably the size that you really need, isn't it? I could maybe put it on the wall like this. How does that look? Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Thank mm -hmm. you.